My name is Anthony Gravino. I'm 46 years old, and we're here at my studio, High Cross Sound, in Urbana, Illinois. I was born in Galesburg, Illinois, and I grew up in Monmouth, about 30 miles west of the Mississippi River. And it was very small town, Midwestern, you know, 80s and 90s. <laughs> um, just, you know, a lot, I played sports. That was a big thing in the town was like the, the local sports. There's a college there called Monmouth College, um, but there wasn't a whole lot to do there. So me and my friends just kind of made music our thing. I got a guitar and two of my friends, one of them had drums and the other one was a bass player. And we started playing in my friend's basement right away. And, and I played my first gig less than a year after I started playing guitar. That was when I first started like listening to the production of music too. And I started to hear the different eras and the different sounds. And I was always fascinated by that. I was always reading the liner notes. I was obsessed. I wanted to do that. You know, I wanted to play music. And then when I got into college, I got into a, a band that was playing quite a bit. But the band I was in at the time, I knew they weren't going to leave that town. And I knew I couldn't get anywhere other than where we were at that point. I was 23 and I thought, ah, it's time to go do something else. It's time to go pursue my dream. Do you feel like they've all lost their minds? I knew a couple people up in Chicago and they let me crash on their couch for a while while I got my feet embedded and and then I just started playing in bands there. It was in about 2005 or 2006 I started, uh, I got a little home recording set up and I just started, it was just to demo songs and, and things like that and I was still playing in bands and I really loved it. I started, I spent a lot of time on it and I went on tour with this band in 2008, this band called Oh My God, it was a great band, I loved it. And the, you know, the tour was great and it was an amazing experience and fun, but it was also exhausting and I was just like on the road a lot and and, and, and I'd started getting business recording and I just thought I'm gonna focus more on this now and I'm gonna try to make this my thing as opposed to being a hired gun guitar player playing in all these different bands. I basically had like a, th a it was a three flat building and the second floor was my recording studio. But it was cool, it, it had, it, it worked, you know, and people liked it, it was laid back and I had a thing going there for quite a while, and I just, I kind of tired of the city eventually. The thing about moving down here for me was that this place was a big part of it. I had thought in the back of my head, I want to move out of Chicago, but I wasn't totally sure where. And I saw this place on an advertisement on the internet, and I was just like, wow, what a cool place that could be a really cool recording studio and, and I came here and when I saw the place I was just it kind of flipped in my head at that point I just thought you know this would work this kind of checks some boxes I wasn't actively looking at the time when I decided to move it was just like the switch flipped and I saw the opportunity and I knew I had to take it so it's an old horse barn that was built in 1940 and then converted into a house in 1980. It had a lot of things that scared a lot of buyers away from it at first, I think, because it had the cool factor, but then when you kind of look below the surface, it was like, oh, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. So I came in and did a lot of stuff. It just, it, it was rough. It just needed a little love. Hadn't been loved in a while. So the walls are basically big, soft surfaces that aren't reflected, and I love it. It sounds great in here. I mean, from the minute it was finished, I came in and I was like, oh, this is really good. The ceiling is curved, which is great acoustic property. And it's got this old timey barn lacquered wood on the ceiling, which is just amazing. It just has this grandiose kind of feel. It was one of the things that when I first walked in, I was just like, yeah. Cause you know, you want a studio to be inspiring. You need it to be. You need people to come in and feel like I'm somewhere special where I'm gonna do something special. You know, and the visual element of this place has that. I feel like when you walk in, you're kind of walking into a, a different, dimension almost in a weird way and I, I that was another thing that I was really drawn to when I first saw the place because when I first walked in I imagined okay this is how it's going to feel for a musicians when they first walk in and that's a really big deal
The studio is very much an extension of who I am. I love the fact that I can shape things the way I want them to, that I can have this idea in my head that's very clear how I want it to sound, and that I can use the tools of the studio to make that come off the speakers. I just love that feeling. I couldn't be happier that I moved here. It was a great decision. I haven't regretted it for one second that I've been here. I felt very well received by the local music community, and I feel like that in this day and age doing what I do, it's much less important where you're located. My uncle has this theory that like people end up going back to like wherever they start at some point in their life. And I, when I first moved here, I definitely felt that it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm out in the country now. I'm much more relaxed. I didn't realize how much stress I was holding because of the city it just like puts this stress on you all the time. And when I got out here, I really experienced the change of seasons much more profoundly now. Living in Chicago, I was there for 20 years. I didn't realize how much of I had lost that connection. And there's really no substitute for that. The, the, the scenery around you profoundly affects your life. And when you're an artist, it profoundly affects your art. And I realized more and more since I've been here how important that element is. Mostly I just want to make good records with people and have fun doing it and, and help people make great sounding recordings, you know, because it's, it's not a lost art, but it's a dying art, you know? And I, and I feel like, you know, I really care about the sound of records. And so for people who want to make a really great sounding record, I want this to be a place that they feel like that's where you go to get the really good sound.